Twitch, what is up? I'm back at you guys with another Clash Royale video. Today we're watching Corrin, who is a Golem beatdown pro. He plays Golem Double Prince. He's been playing this deck for about two years now, and he says it's his main deck. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and can learn a few tips and tricks from him. I'll be sure to commentate on which uh, on whatever tips I do see. His opponent's gonna play Hog Rider. Corrin's gonna tornado it to the King Tower and get a King Tower activation. We're going up against an off meta hog deck. That rocket's really gonna destroy all our support troops. Corrin's gonna go with a beat a uh, golem in the back and support it with the Dark Prince. Corrin's favorite card is the Dark Prince as it does a lot of splash and is a super powerful card. Ouch, that rocket does so much damage. Our golem should connect to the tower and get two, maybe three hits. Three hits uh, plus the death damage. So ha a bit more than half the tower is gone now. Quite good for Corn. I'll be sure to leave the deck in the description below if you guys want to play it or try it out. If you want to join his clan, his clan is Alex El Alexer Elite Elite Alexers, something like that. I'll also leave its name down in the description. That tombstone is. Really gonna hinder that prince from attacking the tower, which is unfortunate for us. Corn plays a gold up in the back and supports it with a, a dark prince. Sorry guys, for I accidentally <laughs> tilted the screen upside down there. That wasn't meant to happen. That rocket's gonna take out all of that, unfortunately. Sorry guys for the lag right there. Didn't. I mean, for that to happen, that golem probably won't connect to the tower, but we're already setting up in the back with another golem push. Corrin is trying to space out his cards so they can't all be rocketed. Smart play by him. Opponent's going to go with an air and a log, and our game is lagging again. Sorry, guys. The Wi-Fi symbol of doom. Oh, no. But we do connect to that tower with that golem and that prince. And that is... Game? Yeah, those... Yep, that's game. Well played, Corrin. Let's hop into another game. It's gonna... He shared three replays, so we're gonna go over two wins and a loss. So let's hop into these replays. Corrin is going to save up to 10 Elixir, and we are going to play a Mega Minion in the back. We're going to save up to 10 Elixir and play a Prince, see what the opponent does. He's going to play his Lumberjack. We should be able to take care of that and get ahead in the tower. Nope. The opponent plays a P.E.K.K.A. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna respond with a dark prince, which gets a charge off and is quite damaged by that mini Pekka, unfortunately for us. We will get a charge in the tower, but the opponent plays a Mega Knight. Corn's gonna lure it with a Golem. So one thing I've noticed here with what Corn did is he played his Golem, and instead of playing a ground troop to try and kill the Golem or try and kill that Mega Knight. He's played a Baby Dragon, so the Mega Knight won't be lured onto the ground troop, and it will continue hitting the Golem. So it won't get any damage in the tower. We're gonna tornado that all together. Unfortunately, that Firecracker does go out of range, but we do get some nice damage, a bit more than half the tower, down to 950 HP. Opponent's going to go into Lumberjack and Firecracker. How, what do you guys think about the Firecracker? I, I, I find it's a really annoying card to play against. It just keeps pushing itself back, and there's not really an easy counter for it. 
and, and I find it just counters way too many cards. Like, uh, the Lava Hound, it counters quite a bit. It counters just so many cards. Any splash card, Golem, it's quite good against. It's just such a powerful card. We're going to go with a Golem in the back. And either support with a Dark Prince or a Normal Prince. The opponent's going to play that Mega Knight. I'd say a poor choice by him because I would say that Mega Knight for jumping onto those Princes at the back. Because now those Princes are able to charge and take out that Mega Knight. We're getting all those cards in there. We might be able to take the tower here. Um, Maybe with the air troops. Yeah, we'll be able to take that tower. Oh, no, the opponent plays a Mega Knight, but we suck that into the tower so the baby dragon can get one more hit. We zap the tower. And will that baby peck get a hit? Nope. Whew, that was lucky. And that bait, that... Uh, Balloon won't hit the tower, and we win the game. GG. Let's hop into the next replay. So we're going up against Nova Bibor. Uh, best of luck to you. Looks like he's running deck with Ice Spirit, so Hog 2.6, or... Uh, classic log bait. Quite a few decks run that. We're gonna play a, a little extra collection in the back. The opponent's gonna have fireball it, unfortunately. So they're definitely playing hog 2.6. We're going to play a dark prince, and unfortunately, opponent plays a ice golem in time. We're gonna play a golem at the back. We're probably going to suck that into the King Tower, yep. So you get a King Tower activation. And the opponent's going to go with the Musketeer in the back. This is quite an even matchup. Hog 2.6 usually does quite well against Golem, but if you're a smart Golem player, for the most part, you can outplay them. Smart Ice Golem by the opponent, so the Baby Dragon could not lock onto the Musketeer. And even a Hog, so that... Musketeer gets so much value. Well played, Bibor. Bibor's gonna spam some of his emotes. Bibor's gonna go in with a Ice Golem, or Ice Spirit, sorry. And we're probably gonna play a Electra Collector in the back. He's gonna Fireball once again. But we still do get quite a bit of value from it. We're going to play Golem in the back. And the opponent's going to go in with an Ice Golem Hog Push. It's a bit more difficult because we can't just tornado it as the Ice Golem prevents it from being tornadoed back. It does get quite a lot of damage on a tower, 1500 HP. We're going to smart um, skeletons and even smart play by the opponent there. That cannon was not a smart play, though. Now we're going to lock onto the tower, and we might even be able to take king here, guys. Perhaps not. The opponent plays an ice golem, smart ice golem. He's going to log it, anything to prevent it from us getting to the king tower. He's going to play skeletons for that prince, and another ice spear, and an ice golem, really trying to protect that musketeer. But we still do get that King Tower down to 1,000 HP. And that Musketeer got, the Prince got one hit on it. We are going to Mega Minion. The opponent has the Fireball, but the Musketeer takes down our right lane tower. We're building another big push. Opponent plays a Cannon. Ah, uh, I guess smart play. Opponent fireballs anything to prevent us from getting to that tower. Go, the opponent plays another cannon. So we're going to start up with another push. Continuous pushing in this deck. Continuous pressure. We're going to mega minion that. The hog does get two hits on the tower to take the tower down to 1100 HP. We're going to go in with a fireball and mega minion. And 
support that. Pekka with double princes. Not Pekka, Golem. Oh my gosh, guys. Sorry for my poor English today. We're going to support it with another Mega Minion. The opponent fireballs it, but the Mega Minion still survives. And I think we'll be able to take tower here, guys. Yep, that's game. GG, well played, Court. Let's hop in to another last replay. Up against... I don't speak that language, or and I don't know how to say that. <laughs> We're going to wait for the opponent to start off with the starting play. 20 seconds in, no one's made a move. Korn decides to go into the Mega Mini in the back. The opponent goes with a peck, uh, Golem in the back, same lane. We're going to place an Elixir Collector. And the opponent's going to support his push with a Night Wizard. Uh, Night Wizard. We're going to... Looks like we're playing against Classic um, Golem. And... Let's see what else we do. Um, we're going to suck all that in a tornado and still gets quite a lot of damage on a tower, unfortunately. That Mega Minion does clean up all that, luckily. Mega Minion will get a few hits on the tower if it is not defended against. We get one hit, maybe two. No, just one. We're going to play a uh, baby dragon in the back to take care of that dark prince, but we're also going to play a prince of our own. The prince is going to get quite a bit of damage on that golem. Opponent plays a night witch. Smart play by him or her. We're going to go in with a uh, dark prince and suck that night witch into it. Unfortunately, she still survives, which is quite unfortunate for us, as she'll keep spawning, um, keep spawning bats. And unfortunately, the opponent takes our tower. This isn't looking good for us. The opponent has one of our towers, and there's only 50 seconds left, and we've got almost no damage on their towers. We're going to go into our push of our own in the left lane, try and take that tower as a last... Desperate push. Gonna support it with another prince. The opponent plays a golem of their own. But we should be able to take care of that. Uh, uh, that baby dragon cleans up that golem quite nicely. And we suck all that into a tornado, which is quite good for us. We should be able to take the tower here. The opponent is spamming cards down to prevent us from getting the tower. And... I would say isn't putting down the proper cards to defend properly against us. Korn does take the tower, and we have two Mega Minions. Both get one hit. One gets two hits on the tower, quite a bit of damage on the king. Opponent plays a golem at the bridge, or the Night Witch at the bridge. We play a prince and a, a baby dragon. That golem does get... Three, no, two hits on the tower. The opponent lightnings. And that's quite a bit of damage on the tower, unfortunately. It might even be game. We almost get the tower on the right, but that is game. Unfortunately. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell on the commission. Bye.